for our fourth lesson, we're going back to where this all began. And we're talking about vaccines, but specifically one component of vaccines that are known as adjuvants. Now, adjuvants are additives that are added to vaccines in order to stimulate the immune response. And typically they're added to most vaccines prior to their arrival at a pharmacy, but they can also be added right before you get that injection. And you can think of them like an alarm clock for our immune system. They're telling our immune system to wake up, that we have something in our bodies that we need the immune system to respond to. And they help by allowing more of our B and T cells to create memory and antibodies against that pathogen that the vaccine is designed for. Now, for the past 50 years, we've really used one main adjuvant, and that's been aluminum salts. And that's because those aluminum salts help to keep the vaccine in our bodies for a bit longer, so more of our immune system is able to respond to that vaccine. But there's other types of adjuvants that are also used in the market, one of them being synthetic DNA. So that DNA is made in the lab and it's just very small pieces that is made to replicate little pieces of DNA that comes from viruses or bacteria. So when it's in our bodies, our immune cells say, that's not supposed to be here. They begin eliciting an immune response, but what they're actually eliciting the immune response against is that vaccine that is now present in our bodies. There's also a type of adjuvant called an emulsion, which is able to stimulate toll-like receptors. And these are proteins on the outside of our immune cells that once activated, create a genetic response to release cytokines. And you can learn more about that in Sabrina's lesson on allergic reactions and the immune response. Now, if we use the COVID-19 vaccines as an example, we can see how sometimes adjuvants are or are not used. The mRNA vaccines that were designed by Moderna or Pfizer BioNTech and the viral vector vaccines that were designed by Johnson & Johnson do not use any adjuvants. So there's no aluminum salts, there's no synthetic DNA, there's no type of emulsions. However, if we look at the protein subunit vaccine that does use an adjuvant, a saponin, and you can learn more more about that in my Novavax explainer video. So now that you have a better idea of what adjuvants actually are, stay tuned next week for our fifth episode where we're halfway through this science series and I look forward to seeing you there.